So the last time I saw the Mars Exploration Rover or Opportunity, uh, it was in pretty good shape, pretty good condition. Although it might have been made out of Lego at the time and not real at all. My kids thought it was still pretty cool. Uh, but actually, more recently, the actual Opportunity Rover up on Mars has not been doing so well. It's been, it's been pretty rough up there. So thanks to a massive dust storm that's happening now, right now on Mars, engulfing most of the red planet, NASA's Deep Space Network has not heard a peep from Mars Opportunity Rover. Now, if you're not familiar with NASA's Deep Space Network, there's a really cool website that you can go check out. First link in the description below will bring you to the DSN Network or the DSN Now, and you can actually watch as Earth satellites actually communicate live with satellites on or around Mars, like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and things like that, communicating or trying to communicate to Opportunity itself. The Mars rover fell silent on June 10th of this year, thanks to the storm almost completely blocking out all light from reaching the actual solar panels on the rover. NASA has said that flight controllers are trying to reach out to the Opportunity rover for anything, any kind of uh, feedback, but has still got nothing back. Given the dust storm severity, it could be weeks until we hear anything back from the rover at all. Now you may be wondering why this is such a big deal for rovers on Mars. Obviously this is expensive machinery, but for those of you unfamiliar, this rover was only supposed to live 90 days on Mars. The original planned mission was only 90 days. It's actually been over 5,000 days now active on Mars. So with over 5,000 active days on Mars, it's run into a few issues before. It's run into some dust storms and, and some RAM issues, some memory issues on the actual rover, but it's always come out on top. You remember that when Opportunity launched, just before that, Spirit launched the same rover or an identical rover on the opposite side of the planet, and it didn't fare so well. It only lasted a few years. Opportunity though has just continued on. It's just been kicking along this whole time and still conducting uh, science experiments and, and bringing data back to Earth. Although it does need to go to sleep at night to keep its beauty sleep, it's still been active. So everyone's a little tense about it coming back online. We know the dust storms obviously won't last forever, uh, but until the sky breaks up and some sunlight actually reaches the solar panels on the rover, it's not looking too good. It's in sleep mode right now, it's in hibernation mode. We've seen that in the past, and like Spirit, it didn't wake up again. But the skies quickly darkened on May 30th and the power actually went down to 133 watt hours of energy. So at that point on the Mars rover, the batteries were actually reading 645 watt hours of energy available. Not too long after that though, the batteries went down to 133 watt hours of energy only. As of June 8th, all science experiments were shut off and discontinued until further notice. And a final transmission came in just two days later, reading only 22 watt hours of energy left, which is around the minimum of what it takes to keep the robot awake. Rover's master clock is designed to periodically wake it back up to check for more sunlight and if it can power back on fully and completely. But the rover will go back to sleep if the batteries cannot get a charge at all. We'll just continue to try again over and over again until it charges or dies. If the power levels plummet too low, the master clock will stop running. But the rover's onboard software is designed to fully bring everything back online once the batteries start charging again. Now the all-famous Curiosity rover is still trucking away over 5,000 miles away. It also reported signs of lack of visibility and could clearly see the, the effects of the storm where it was. But unlike Opportunity, Curiosity is powered with electricity generated by the heat of decaying plutonium and the dust storm is not expected to have a major impact on it at all. So whenever the sky does eventually clear up, the batteries should fully recharge if all goes well. The central computer should reboot and, executing stored commands, the rover should phone home for instructions. But how long that might take is anyone's guess at this point. So we all know that Opportunity has experienced issues like this in the past. Not like Spirit where it just completely dies, but Opportunity does have its faults. Uh, with some flash memory issues and obviously some other dust storms in the past. It's always come out on top though. In 2007, Spirit and Opportunity went through a similar circumstance with dust storms and causing them to shut down at night. And Associate Administrator of NASA's Science Mission Directorate, Alan Stern, said at the time, we're rooting for our rowers to survive these storms, but they were never designed for conditions this intense. So considering Opportunity has been alive and, uh, and active for over 5,000 days past its original 90-day mission, it's an incredible engineering miracle that it's still active today and still conducting science experiments to this day. I have no doubt that the batteries will recharge and it will come back to life. Although it's, it's just sleeping now, it will come back and wake up and everything will be okay. We can all stop freaking out. I think it's going to be fine. But if you're curious and something that I, that I had to look up while I was researching this video is that in 2004, what was happening? You might be surprised how long ago 
this rover landed on that planet. 2004 was actually the, the year that Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook. It's actually the year that the Cassini Huygens mission reached Saturn for the first time, which is remarkable considering just a few months ago it actually crashed into Saturn. One interesting note that just after uh, the rover landed on Mars in 2004, Russia stopped recognizing Soviet Union passports. And of course, later on that year, George Bush was elected president. So all in all, it's been over 5,000 days since the rover landed on Mars. It's experiencing just a little hiccup right now. This dust storm is pretty, pretty severe. Obviously, like I said, engulfing over half the planet right now. It will recover. It will it will wake up. I believe that is true. It's not going to die on in this spot. It, like I said, it's gone through much worse. It's going to wake up. Everything's going to be cool. We're going to get more science out of this little rover. And I think it's going to be okay. So guys, let me know what you think down below. Leave a comment down in the comments. What do you think is going to happen to this rover? Is it going to wake up? Is it going to just stay asleep forever? Is it going to pull a spirit and just kind of die? Because we do know that NASA's trying to reach it. It's trying to it's trying to keep it, that line of communication, but obviously nothing's coming back just yet. But let me know what you guys think. So this is really interesting. It's a really interesting thing in the news that keeps coming up. What's going to happen to the rover? So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you learned something, let me know. Because I learned something today too. The amazing history of this rover is pretty cool. And just how it just keeps on going. It just keeps on going. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time on Space Force.